My name is Doreen Moore. I'm the host of this YouTube channel, Blasian Medley. For today's Blasian Medley meal, I will be making sautéed cabbage as well as smothered pork chops. Here are the ingredients. I have here a half of a head of cabbage, which is shredded. This will be sautéed with a half of an onion, which has been chopped, two cloves of minced garlic, and seasoned with four chicken bouillon cubes. Now the pork chops have been seasoned with garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, paprika, salt, and pepper. I'll be making a gravy that is roux based that will be flavored with onion as well as flavored and colored with a little bit of soy sauce. So let's get started with our sauteed cabbage. I have our heat on medium and I put two tablespoons of olive oil in the pan. So the first thing we're going to do is saute our garlic and onions. So go ahead and put your garlic in the pan and saute that. Push it around there. Again, like I said, not too high because garlic will burn. And then add your onion. Go ahead and add your chicken bouillon cube because with the garlic and onion sauteing, it will help dissolve the bouillon cube. Push one around just like that. It's already dissolving as I'm speaking. After the onions have become transparent, go ahead and add all of your cabbage using your tongs to toss it around in the seasoned onion, garlic, and chicken bouillon flavoring. Toss that around just like that. So it's all covered well with all the flavor. and add the lid and cook for eight to 10 minutes. As you can see, the cabbage does render its own juices. Not a lot, but just enough to continue the cooking process. So after you've given that a toss, put the lid back on and let it cook for another four minutes. Again in our fry pan with the heat on medium, I put some oil in there and I'm going to fry our pork chops. I have this little sifter in my hand because this is what I use when I sift the flour onto the pork chops so that it wouldn't get clumpy. It'd be a nice thin dusting of flour on the pork chops. So go ahead and place the pork chops in the frying pan. I bought boneless pork chops so these shouldn't take too long to fry. Go ahead and place them all. I have five of them, but I don't want to crowd the pan, so I'll probably just place three. Wait for those to fry and then fry these other two. After about four to five minutes, go ahead and turn over your pork chops. We want to cook it on the other side for again another four to five minutes. I went ahead and put the other two pork chops in the pan because I saw that they could all fit not be too crowded. So, did that. Turn them over. And like I said, cook four to five minutes. After four minutes, go ahead and turn your heat off and remove your pork chops from the fryer. I have a plate here lined with paper towels so it can drain. Place your chops on there just like that. Nice and golden brown. Total cook time is about eight or nine minutes because these are small chops, boneless, with the heat on medium. There you go, set aside. With our heat on medium, I went ahead and put some of the oil that I fried the pork chops in, about two tablespoons full. We're gonna make a roux based gravy, so I also will use about two heaping tablespoons of flour. Add that to the oil and let that brown, just like that. After your flour and oil has become a golden brown color, go ahead and add your onions. Add your onions and cook those in your oil and flour mixture, just like that. You can see it's sizzling, smells really good. And 
To that, add three cups of water. As you can see, it will thicken rather quickly. So make sure you stir it so that the flour doesn't clump up. Just stir it just like that. Like I said, see it thickening? As you can see, our gravy has thickened pretty well. Now we're going to season it. Simple seasonings. A teaspoon of salt. As well as a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I just use the same teaspoon, eyeball it, for half a teaspoon. Stir that up. For color, I'm going to add a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm using again my teaspoon measuring. I'm just adding three teaspoons, which equals one tablespoon. And stir that. As you can see, it turns into a nice light brown color. There you go, just like that. After about two minutes, go ahead and then put back your pork chops. Just like that. And make sure you cover them well, hence the word smothered. <laughs> Just like that. Nice thick gravy, oniony, tasty, yummy. And you could turn the heat down as well. Mm -hmm. So let that cook for another two to three minutes. Remove it, place it in your serving dish, and so there you have it. Today's Blazing Medley meal. Smothered pork chops as well as sautéed cabbage. Now, if you like this meal or any other Blasian Medley meal, be certain to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, as well as visit our website at www.blasianmedley.com. And don't forget, we're also on Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. So I guess the only thing left to do is to enjoy. Mmm. Enjoy.